A friend asked me to print this part for him for his laser cutter. This is a nozzle attachment to uh, suck away the um, gases produced by the cutting. And I thought about how to print this and finally I decided to print in this orientation, which worked fine. I did have to use support material, but uh, I forgot something to set in the slicer, mainly to only generate support materials on the outside surfaces and the surfaces with overhangs. And this part unfortunately has support material inside this cavity and also this cavity right here, which is basically impossible to remove. So I thought about how to print this and every orientation needs support. This would be a, an ideal candidate to print on a resin printer, but I have a conventional FDM printer, so that's what I had to use. By the way, this is ABS for uh, temperature resistance. This part turned out okay. A slight um, support material didn't uh, come off easily, but it's blocked and I tried drilling out the support material from inside. It's not coming coming out. So if you can't print something in one part, then maybe try printing it in multiple parts. So this is the next thing I tried, slicing it in half and printing it like that, which is okay. I still haven't removed some of the support material because I realized that this won't work either, mainly because um, well, first of all, there's a, an additional assembly phase and it's difficult to line it up correctly. And I do have a glue which glues ABS pretty well, which is this keys, C's, some sort of a solvent type glue. Uh, also, <clears throat> there's a slight uh, mistake in the print. As you can see, there are holes in the print and the screw holes didn't come out great as well. Maybe my temperature is too high, so it should look like that. Doesn't matter, I decided not to continue this split approach. So I thought about how to print it, and in Prusa Slicer you can set up support blockers, and I use those. Of course, these areas here and here do need supports, but the inside really doesn't. So in this printing orientation, there is a slight overhang inside this nozzle and inside this elbow, but those I can get away with without supports. So I set up support blockers and uh, yeah, th this uh, came out Okay, I still have to clean up this bottom part, but that's minimal work. But yeah, this is, I'm quite uh, happy about it. Almost forgot. I wanted to check the strength of this print. So this is probably the weakest part. I'll try to break it off. And yeah, I I'm not sure if I can... Uh... <laughs> I'm not sure if that comes across the camera, but I'm trying incredibly hard to break that. I mean, my fingers are hurting and I cannot break that. Maybe with, with a tool. I'll try with this tool here. Yeah, that's, um, that's very strong, actually. Good, good layer adhesion. Excellent. Successful print.